Okay, so this one here is a 1991 first gen Dodge. This one here actually is a non-intercooled setup. When I found this truck, it was hammered. I mean, completely hammered. It uh, was a uh, local company here in Vegas that does a lot of paving work. It had a, it was just, it was rough. It was full of dirt. The great thing about the desert is they don't rust. So when I cleaned this truck out and I started going through it, literally was rust free. Like every rocker panel, the floors, the cab corners, no rust. The factory paint was still on the floor. So that to me means a lot because a lot of these uh, first gen Dodges, they rotted out. They, you know, you get the Midwest, there's, there's nothing left from about here down. They're all gone. It sucks for you guys over there and up in Canada too. You guys, it's, you know, these desert trucks are really nice. A lot of guys like to get their hands on them because they are so clean. Um, it was very dirty, but it, the thing that makes this truck special is that it is a one ton dually. It has a five speed in it and it is a Cummins. So that alone makes the truck worth a lot of money. Um, the great thing about this is somebody had taken the get rag out of it and put an NV4500 transmission in it already. I've just been through this truck. I've had every fender off it, the doors off it, the cabs. I mean, com completely stripped down to the cab. And um, I'm gonna start putting this thing together for my Welder 101 course. And I'm gonna turn it into a welding truck so I can teach beginner welders how to set up a beginning welder truck that's inexpensive and try to put this thing together with used stuff, things that you find at the swap meet, things that you find at garage sales and make it work. Um, but the one thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to put a little bit of a lift kit on this truck and I wanted to put a new set of Falcon tires on it. You know, I, I run these Falcons on almost everything I got. They're a great tire. For as knobby as they are, they're quiet on the road and um, they're just a good aggressive tire. I did put some third gen Dodge Dually rims on it. So these are 17 inch rims and I adapted them to the front and the rear, as you can see in the back. I mean, I haven't even really drove this truck that much. The bed that's on it is probably gonna come off and I'm gonna build a bed for it so I can show the beginner welders and guys that just wanna put together a service truck or welding truck, how to go about building a bed, laying it out and doing it yourself so that way it's a little bit cheaper. Um, this particular model, like I said, is non-intercooled. So you don't wanna turn up the timing too much on these, they get hot and they melt without an intercooler. You get the pistons hot, melt them down. So what I'm gonna do is probably put some, a little bit different injectors, nothing crazy. I'm gonna have industrial injection send me out a new pump for it. Um, I'm also gonna put um, probably a different exhaust manifold to get rid of some of the heat with a little bit bigger exhaust side on the turbo to try to get rid of some of the heat also. Um, but this is a great little motor. Basically, they are a, a tractor motor and they put them in a pickup truck and the rest is history.